absurdity is truth. I could see its glow in the distance, the incandescent lights creating a luring haze. It was so far away. Too far, in fact. I actually missed it a lot. The concrete beneath my feet, the harsh air, the noise, the traffic, most of all, the people. The endless throb of people. Out here it's only sky. A sky that's way too big and way too empty. It makes you feel too small. A city may be big. You may feel meaningless, but at least you're part of something bigger. Out here you realize that there isn't anything bigger. Just you. Everything begins and ends with you. That's actually the scary thing. In the city, we see connections everywhere. Then from a distance, all you see is absurdity and chance. You see the truth. That's what's so horrible about being out here. Truth. The city lights hide the stars just as much as they hide the truth. Out here, there's no room for ritual, routine, no distractions from the endless stream of news and pictures and communication. No contact, just alone, nothing solid to stand on. No new product to laugh after or some drug to numb yourself with, just thought. I suppose from thought we get truth. In truth, we see our own passivity to life, which is pretty fucking depressing. So we long for the city again, to distract ourselves and live in whatsoever fashion we please valuing the cohesion of everydayness. I live indifferent, like everyone else does, only sometimes feeling a slight recoil as I wake up. I lull myself with nostalgia, rejecting any quiver, feeling blissful in my arrogance. The reason I left is just Part of the absurdity of life. I left the stage to go sit in the audience. But the show goes on. I am now just abstract, like those outer body experiences people describe. I seemingly float above the city a mere observer. I'm more than that though, I hope. I know how the show ends, hence why I sit so far. I've come to see the logic come to its bitter conclusion. Perhaps I thought I'd find God? I found something else, something much worse though. I found myself. A self at its most obscene, masterless, and without tragedy. A small metallic whiz drones overhead, lured like a moth to the city's bright haze. My eyes are drawn too. A seemingly helpless black form drops out of the black vastness. It falls, and I'm aware of the steady beat of my heart. The plunge of the black object goes into the mass of buildings, and it's lost. A sound so strange, like all the air is being sucked into the city. It resonates around me, and I feel its power. It is a bright flower, like all God's angels have ridden from heaven 
It engulfs all. It is non-judging. A splendid show that billows up. Now the flower blooms red and oranges with a symphony like the rings of Saturn brought to Earth. I think not. I am burned. I am crucified. But I am not forsaken. The warming glow rushes towards me, sweeping away the cold landscape with its heat. Open armed, I stand ready to embrace my fate. Then I am aware of the steady beat of my heart. Thought returns. Logic returns. Fuck. It's too late.